Hi there, Lee Creek Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go for an example using the mix shader. So the mix shader is used to blend or add two shaders together. So in this example, we've got a file texture that's blending two shaders. And here we've got a ramp that's blending a lemon shader and a chrome shader. And I'm just going to go through this mountain with a snow melting example. So here we've got two shaders, one for the snow, one for the mountain, and we've got a facing ratio shader connected to the mix weight of the mix shader. Okay, so here's our mountain geometry. Start off by creating an Arnold Skydome light, and then connect a physical sky to the color. So let's create a standard surface shader, call that snow, and duplicate that, create, call that mountain, and then we just need to open the mountain texture, we we'll use an image shader, Arnold image shader to do that, just open up the diffuse texture, so there we go, we've got a snow and a mountain, and we need to mix them together using a mix shader. So I'll connect the out color of the snow to shader 2 and the out color of the mountain to shader 1 and then just assign that to the mountain, so I'll make shader to the mountain. So by default the blix weight is 0.5, so we bring that down to 0, we're just getting the mountain and put it up to 1, we'll get the snow shader. So what we can do is connect another shader here called the facing ratio shader. This will give us our melting snow effect. If we bring the gain down, it will give us more contrast. And then if we play around with the bias, we can see the effect starting to appear. We can invert this as well. Obviously, you can keyframe this for an animation. So that's pretty much it. Just finally, just can add some fog. So under the render settings, environment, atmosphere, just create some fog here. And there you have it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.